Hi, welcome to this video. And today we're looking at a pair of sunglasses from Julbo, J-U-L-B-O, made in France. Um, or at least they're a French company. I don't know if these ones are made in France. So yeah, these are Julbo, J-U-L-B-O. Um, they're called Reactive Photochromic. Julbo Reactive Photochromic. So yeah, these are the sunglasses. So you get not one but two cases with these sunglasses. So um, I work in construction. Uh, specifically at this moment, um, I've done home renovations and now I'm doing framing. So we're building a house, frame and, and um, framing and also the concrete foundation so I use a lot of power tools and as you know you have to be super safe with power tools but um, so anyways uh, I seem to be into dual bow sunglasses for a long time now and so I decided to get their flagship sunglasses, uh, the Julebo Explorer. And I think these are called the Explorer 2 sunglasses. And these are their flagship sort of uh, expedition sunglasses. You know, I don't do any expeditions. And these are, incidentally, this, green, this blue thing is actually a shoelace. <laughs> so... It's one of these weird no-tie shoelaces, but I thought it would work good for a sort of just to hold it around your neck, to hold it around your neck. So anyways, they've got some holes here on the end of the arms. And um, so there you go. You can see the Jilbo. They're kind of a gray plastic. Um, and they've got sort of a amber color lens so the gray plastic amber lens there's a little metal insert there just for style I guess and um, they've got sort of flexible rubber for the arms and I think you can actually even shape them I haven't even tried to move them but I think you can actually move them to the angle you want and stuff like that so these are reactive lenses, so they're supposed to get darker and lighter, um, depending on the conditions in, of, you know, the sun. So anyways, uh, they do seem to affect my vision. When you put them on, they're not like sort of, you know you have sunglasses on, so they kind of, they do magnify or unmagnify things a little bit. So that's something to get used to. Um, you get two cases, you get the soft case and then you get the hard case and you get also something else you get side side um, pieces as well in this nice yellow so these are kind of like side to you know block out the side sun I guess I don't know how to put them on Yeah, they got little holes. So I'm gonna try to get one on here. Kinda tricky. I guess that's kinda of the way it goes. So there's with the side. Pieces. There you go. I think actually. I should be able to close the glasses as well. Okay, there we go. 
So you got to kind of push them into the hinge. And then there you go. There's your side pieces. And you got to put the push them all the way into the hinge so that you can close them. If they're not pushed all the way in, you'll have problems closing the glasses. So there's the side hit side and they're kind of rubber and plastic. Probably won't last too long. They just clip out. So anyways, this is the original strap for the neck strap. And I don't really like the design very much. Got these like metal clips. So yeah, that's the original neck strap. And then I just put this shoelace, sort of a no tie shoelace, but it, it works too. So that's what I'm using. So anyways, yeah, that's the jewel bow, amber color. They got little rubber nose pieces, little rubber nose pieces there. They're nice and they, they feel like they're really nicely made and they feel a little bit stronger. So they feel pretty quality. Um, I'm a big fan of Jilbo sunglasses. Um, I've had like, you know, over five pairs of them. Um, these are like, the Jilbo sunglasses are pretty pricey for the, especially these, um, these lenses. Sometimes they're, these ones are called reactive, but sometimes they're called camel or zebra. And they're photochromic, which means they get darker or lighter depending on the sun. And so these are the most expensive lenses you can get from Julbo. So they pretty much up the price of the sunglasses by 80 to 100 bucks. The other ones are called Spectron and they're, they're not reactive. I used to do a lot of, um, these ones are made in France. They're called Explorer 2.0 and um, they have the reactive lenses. So they have the Spectron lenses and those are like regular sunglasses. They uh, they don't get darker or lighter. The other thing about the Julbo lenses is that they um, they are pretty scratch resistant um, that I've found. And let me see if I can find an older pair of sunglasses that I have from Julbo and you can see how they, they hold up. So I have these are um, where are these ones? I don't even know what these ones are. These are jewel bows too, but these are called, I don't know what these are called. These are called race, race. So these are the jewel bow race and um, they held up pretty good. Overall, I'm pretty happy with these. These are jewel bow race. The lenses sometimes come out and you gotta put them back together, put them back in. But overall, I'm, I'm happy with the lenses. I guess they're polycarbonate lenses. And um, the coatings last pretty well on these lenses. They look new for a long time. They're not like, you know, they're pretty quality. So I've had these Jubal lenses and I always keep them in the, plat the bag as well. So you can see they, the, la the, lens coated, the lenses stayed nice for a long time. So anyways, the Jewel Box um, Explorer 2.0 I think they're about $200, but if you really look hard, you can find some deals on eBay sometimes and you can get them for like 120 and stuff like that. So there, there is deals out there. These are my all time favorite sunglasses, like from Julbo. They're kind of like really crappy, but I wore these for like at least a couple of years and these are again the zebra lenses so they're like the really expensive uh, lenses so these are the um, light to dark or dark to light lenses they change depending on the the light and um, these are the zebra light these are actually my favorite lenses ever they're called zebra lights and these are my favorite lenses ever because they they're good for construction and working with safety because they don't darken too much. So they're actually perfect for 
working construction. The only problem with these zebras is that the rubber deteriorates and it just gets, it sort of crumbles off. See how the rubber is just crumbling off there? So they use like a really, you know, not a very good rubber that just, it'll just die after time. But I love these glasses. These are like my favorite glasses. And look at the lenses. The lenses are like holding up so well. So anyways, that's my review of Julbo. Um, again, my favorite lenses is Zebra Lights. I splurged on these Explorer 2s because they were on, I got it from a good price, brand new, on eBay. So I wanted to get these uh, Julbo um, flagship sunglasses and I think they're like the top quality. They kind of have a weird look. They have kind of like a Hunter S. Thompson look. I don't know if you know who that is, but he's kind of like this hipster guy that shot himself when he had cancer and he's a writer. Um, so yeah, they kind of make you look like sort of a, an old school seventies kind of, I don't know, like a marksman or something. They kind of have a weird look of them, their own, these sunglasses. But anyways, so yeah, that's what you get when you get the Explorer 2. Um, and I'm sure they're great for, like, you know, they show pictures of these Jewel Bowl Explorer 2, you know, doing adventure stuff, you know, like in Antarctica and climbing mountains and stuff. So they're supposed to hold up in all kind of temperature and all kind of weather. Um, they've got big pluses. The pluses are that they've got little holes in the ends of the, of the arms. That's a nice plus. So you can put your cord of your choice on them so that when you're not having them on your head, you can just dress them around your neck. That's really nice. And, you know, it, it lasts, the last, you know, it'll make the glasses last a lot longer because you're not always taking them off and putting them on. These are the reactive lenses. Um, so far, they're so good. They're okay. Um, again, my favorites are the Jewelbo lights. These are slightly darker than the Jewelbo lights and they have sort of a yellow tint. They've got the side pieces, um, which I don't use, and they have the jewel bow uh, that comes with it, th that, and I don't use that either. So anyways, I would rate these pretty nice sunglasses. I'm liking these sunglasses so far. They seem to be holding up pretty well. I'm treating them so carefully because, you know, they're $200 sunglasses, so I'm treating them super careful. Um, but yeah, these are super nice sunglasses. Jewel Bow is like my favorite company. They change their lineup all the time. Every couple of years, it seems now that they're having new new models every year, and they discontinue the old models. So, anyways, I hope you like that review. Jewel Bow Explorer 2.0, um, really great sunglasses. Um, uh, you'd probably really like the uh, uh, Zebra Lights. The zebras and the zebra lights, if you are in really sunny conditions, these reactive are nice. If you're in, uh, if you're working with like outside and you really, really, it's important to see clearly and you don't want your vision darkened at all, go for the zebra lights. And uh, yeah, just amazing sunglasses. Like I said, I'll show you this other pair of my jewel bows. These glasses are, you know, many many years old these are like five years old and you can see a, a few tiny scratches on the glasses but the lenses are overall pretty nice five plus years old the rubber is disintegrating but uh, those are the zebra lights and I told you that they're really good because they don't darken your vision that much so yeah I hope you like that video thanks for watching and check out my other videos I do videos of like running gear like shoes um, and then I have some nerdy hobbies like uh, music, which I don't do that much lately, and software. So thanks for watching. And vintage equipment and electronics. Okay, cheers, bye.